Yes, uh, good afternoon. And uh, thank you very much again for invitation to, to take part in this important ceremony today. Uh, as you know, defense is quite an important element for, uh, for Europe. Uh, over, if we look over our last few years, uh, quite important initiatives have been launched, both in the field of what we could call defense policy. Best example is, of course, PESCO, which has been a huge uh, step in, uh, in the field of defense. Uh, so, but it is pure defense policy. A second aspect is more linked to industry. Uh, and as you know, we launched a number of programs for uh, defense cooperation in the field of uh, industry. We have a so-called uh, development program, or so-called EIDP program, with uh, limited budget, but uh, 500 million. Uh, in the next few days, I think at the end of June, we will announce the result of uh, 2020 uh, ADIDP. And probably still more important, in the next few days, we will also launch a call for EDF 21, because uh, for 2021, uh, for the next MFF, we will have more or less 1 billion a year for research and development. So it's quite important. So I'm sure we will launch important initiative and company will have the opportunity to start working beginning of July. So which is the objective of uh, this, this initiative? Of course, the first objective is competitiveness of the EU industry, which is quite important, but competitiveness of the industry is not a final word. Of course, the final objective is not competitiveness. The final objective is having industry able to deliver capability that we need, capability that the army will need in the next few years, capability that we will need in the next 20 years. And this is why we, we support research and, uh, and development. And something which is linked to this is, of course, EU strategic autonomy. Let's say autonomy, sovereignty, it's more or less the same thing. But what the objective is to contribute to uh, EU uh, autonomy. When we say technological uh, sovereignty, technical uh, autonomy, it's always sensitive. And but what is important for us is technical autonomy. Autonomy does not mean protectionism. Uh, if we want uh, some form of autonomy, it's not against uh, people. It's a complement to what we have already, and of course, it's complement to, to, to what has been done and to what we be do in the context of NATO. And which is why we need to cooperate with uh, allies in, uh, in the context of NATO. It's not, it's not uh, uh, EU for us. We want some form of uh, sovereignty, some form of protectionism to contribute globally to security. Uh, in full cooperation with uh, allies in, uh, in, in NATO. So when we say technical sovereignty, of course, it's linked to research. And here we very welcome the initiative which has been launched by uh, Bordeaux University and colleagues, because we need to involve everybody. It cannot be only the EU institution. We need the EU institution. We need the European Parliament because we need a budget. If we do not have money, we can do nothing. We need budget, but it's not enough. Uh, we, we also need all expertise coming from university, com coming from uh, technical uh, research center, from all institutes in, in Europe. We see why this initiative is very important for, for us. And when we look to, uh, to the results, it's quite impressive. Uh, 95 contribution. Very good, no? Uh, 51 universities and maybe still more important, 19 countries, 19 countries, which is politically very important because EU initiative in the field of defense cannot be only for five big member sets. We need to have all member sets aboard. And this is why having so many uh, countries uh, on board is very, is very important. When we look <clears throat> to a topic which have been uh, uh, investigating, of course, again, it's quite very important huh? topic which are linked to priorities and uh, something which is also very important is topics linked to positive externality in a field of civil activity and not only for defense. Uh, so we can justify putting EU quite important EU budget if we can demonstrate that we will have positive externality on, on, civil, on civil activity. 
So again, uh, very well done. Uh, congratulations to, to everybody, but congratulations to Bordeaux University because I do understand it's not something easy to manage. It's a huge amount of work to, 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 to arrive to this. Congratulations, of course, to uh, the student. And uh, uh, so at the end of the day, we will have one winner. But I think at the end of the day, we will not have one winner. We will have a group a package of winners uh, to the benefit of Europe. So again, uh, very well done.